can only say to yourself, well, I'm never going to do that in a show or, or anything like that, but in saying that, I just want to make sure that she's rounded. And I want you to know that none of my horses on my team, I can't find many weak spots with them. Unless, of course, I ask Mater Ozzy for um, 50 flying changes in a row. There's a bit of a weak spot there. So yesterday with this mare, she um, did the same thing here with the tarp, and I was quite aware that I didn't get all the way through it. And uh, I certainly got her going over the top of it. But when they go all the way through it, they will hunt for that. You'll get them to the stage where they'll try and put their foot on it so it's easier. But it's exactly the same as I spoke of before. I'm not telling her to go to the top. I'm saying you try to circle. It's up to you if you want to do a 10 metre circle or a 2 metre circle. And she says, well, I'm a Morgan. I love to run, so 10 metre circles is fine. But then I want her to say two metre circle. My quarter horses say, can I stand on it? <laughs> can I stand on it and you run? <laughs> Let's do that. So that's the hardest thing when you're working with Arabs and thoroughbreds is they will use their energy more. But what I love is they just give more. I love forward energy. Forward energy to me is not never a swear word. It is for a lot of people. But all it is is something that's usable. The gelding that I've got that endears to me more and more every day, my little spin abbey. He's the most forward thing I've ever ridden in my entire life. And yet he can canter absolutely nowhere. Canter's on the spot and leaps in place. But that is forward, that is usable. You're trying. Me. <laughs> this is the side that's a little weaker. And so she's saying that to the left, I've got it, but to the right, I'm weak. So I can't say, wow, I have an incredible horse because she's not rounded. She needs to be giving herself just as easy both ways. The ultimate for me would be her to track over this tarp like it wasn't there. Look how confident her footsteps are on a circle to the left. We get to the tarp and there's a question that's popped up. So what I'm looking for is no hesitation. I want her to say, wow, you must have been there before. Did you check it out? I said, you bet I did. I got you back, darling. I checked it out. No crocodiles under there. And that's what horses think. They think, what's under there? Do I have to worry? And a lot of people would take them to it and they'd say, you smell it. How many of people have you heard say that? Let them smell it. Let them pour it. Let them stand on it. Basically, you're saying to them, you make up the decision, horse, whether that's safe or not. Worst thing you can do. A leader doesn't do that. A leader says, I've checked it out. It's safe. Come with me. If you say, I want you to make a decision, their decision could be the wrong one. Now, if you don't know what's under there, if you're riding in, in uh, swamp areas and there might be crocodiles and your horse says, don't go, if one of my horses said, don't go through a swamp, I'd listen to him because they go wherever I ask them to and I would say, well, you must know something I do not. But when I know for a fact that that's not a swamp, there's no problem there, then I have to say to them, you've got to give yourself to me so I can keep you safe.